hey dolls so i am back and i just did this super cute easy install if y'all want to see it then keep on watching okay dolls so this hair is from Cena sure hair this is the bag and then on the inside we got some wig caps and we got a band like to tie your edges down as well and the wig came in this bag i wrote on it it doesn't really have much details on it but this is a four by four closure wig 220 density um 1b 27 and it's a 24 inch and i believe it's body wave texture i have everything listed down below for y'all but it turned out real cute and easy and i just wanted some really soft like sexy curls if you know what i'm saying so yes if y'all want to see me do this install then keep on watching okay dolls so this is how the wig looks after i have taken it out of the box i did already um conceal the knots and also pluck the wig as well so i'm just popping the wig on and then i'm gonna straighten it up a bit um but yeah this hair is super cute i love the color of it Sorry if y'all can hear the fan on my computer because I'm trying to do some voiceovers right now. And for some reason, every time when I'm doing voiceovers, the fan likes to kick in, which is so annoying. Okay, so I'm going to go in and spray some heat protectant on the top of the hair. This does have some oil in it, so that's why you kind of see the smoke coming from the hot comb. Um, but the oil will also help to kind of mold the hair into place. I don't think I really used my wax stick very much whenever I was doing these installs um, just because I didn't want to weigh the hair down too much or anything so I'm just kind of using this heat protectant and then I'll also go in with some hairspray to just mold down any little flyaways and everything like that and just smooth the hair down as y'all know you can definitely go in and do different sections and part the hair off into sections and then lay it down and you can get a really nice flat install but i just did it the more simple way by just going on top which is definitely going to cause me to have to go back in and hot comb and hot comb and hot comb until i get it as flat as i want it to be so probably just do like how i normally would do but i didn't section it off or anything to get it nice and flat and in the end you will see that it is nice and flat but yeah i'm just starting to train the hair to go how i wanted it to and the wig actually did come with the middle part already there so i didn't have to go in and create a part or anything the part was already there and then i just kind of plucked out some of the hair that was in the parting area um, because the part was like it was straight but it was like some hair in the actual part if you know what I'm saying so I did go in and pluck those out whenever I was plucking the front of the wig also so I'm going to use this curling wand set to do some curls in the hair but before I do so I am going to go in and do a little bit of face framing layers with this install I just did kind of like a simple bombshell kind of look very you know simple and just a go-to style that i love to do which is a middle part with some curls so i'm just doing a bit of face framing layers on each side and then once i do the curls it will give more of that layered kind of look and the curls just fall much nicer so yeah really easy to do just kind of guide the scissors down the hair instead of just cutting directly into the hair Y'all have seen me do layers plenty of times. So yeah, I'm just going in and doing some curls in the hair. And with these curls, I did use the largest curling wand that came in the set because I did want more of that bombshell, really loose curl kind of look. Like I didn't want the curls to be too tight. Um, but if you want your curls to last longer with using like the larger size curling iron or wands, you can definitely spray a bit of holding spray on the hair and also go in and clip the hair up and allow it to cool before dropping the curls um but yeah i didn't do that i didn't do pin curls i just did the curls and kind of let it cool in my hand for a second and then i went ahead and dropped it and the curls still turned out nice but they are more so on the looser side which is what i wanted anyways but yeah i'm just gonna go in and curl up this wig y'all have seen me do curls 
plenty of times but i just wanted to keep the clips in so y'all can see how it's turning out and this curling one is really bum like you can see how the hair looks i did not go in and blow dry the hair out or flat iron it first or anything like that so you can see that the hair has a little bit of frizz to it because it wasn't previously styled it's just like in its natural state and you can see once i go in and curl the hair how sleek and shiny the hair is looking and i didn't apply any type of product throughout the hair like any holding spray or i didn't even use my heat protectant all over the hair i only used it more so at the top section of where i was you know laying down the top section of the wig so yeah i'm just going in and curling and as you can see the curls look pretty the hair texture and everything looks really nice it has a nice shine to it versus how it looks fresh out of the box so yeah i'm gonna go in and cut off my lace i don't know why i didn't do this first but i just went in and started styling and then i'm gonna go in and just trim off the lace and cut it as close to the hairline as possible and with this wig it was nice and snug so i didn't feel the need to actually spray down the hairline or anything because it just melted in perfectly so this foundation method that i have been using lately instead of bleaching the knots just really allows the wigs to melt in perfectly without me having to do so much extra work so yeah i'm just gonna go in and comb out the curls um, because i just wanted that soft wave curl kind of look and then any little parts that i see that i think need to be recurled i go in and recurl those and then i like to push the hair back off of my face just you know y'all know how i do so yeah i'm just doing that and then i'm just going to play around with the hair and get it to look how i want it to look and i'm also taking some concealer on an angled brush and i'm just using this to define the parting section in any areas that I go over, I just go in and use a black eyeshadow and just conceal the concealer on the actual hair section and just make sure that the part is nice and straight and lined up perfectly how I want it to be. I used a little bit of powder on the front of the hairline, which I feel like it really didn't need, but I just took the extra step. And then I'm just gonna go in and finish off polishing up the look of the hair. and yeah that's pretty much it like it's super simple and easy and as y'all can see the wig is nice and flat and everything and i really like the highlights on this wig and it is more so of a darker color which i really love because y'all know i love my dark hair but it has some highlights to it so super cute and it was giving me all the vibes that i needed especially with this smoky kind of eye look that i decided to do this day and i feel like i've never done this type of eye makeup which is so weird but yeah i think it turned out so cute this is the back of the hair it has a nice lint to it and the hair looks nice and shiny and healthy and everything like that so yeah this is how the hair looks so stay tuned for the outro okay dolls so this completes the look of this hair really simple and easy i will try to link the curling one set down below as well because this is new so yeah i'm pretty sure it's on the website so i'll link it for y'all if y'all are interested but i use the largest barrel for these curls and yeah this wig turned out really nice i like the texture and everything like that um and the curls are just super soft and like definitely giving sexy bombshell vibes so definitely check out seen or sure hair and i will have everything listed down below for you and thank you dolls for watching bye dolls